Philistines that day, and the Philistines no longer, well, the Israelites, excuse me, were no longer in uh, 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 bondage to the Philistines. I'll give just one illustration, and I'm done, to show the progression of where Samson went and what happens to us when we begin to cross that line. We get too close to Tim. He just went down to Tim, just four miles away. And yet, there, his life was basically started a downward spiral. You ever heard the story of how that an Eskimo captures or kills a wolf? What they'll do, an Eskimo will do, is they will take a, a, a double-edged knife and they'll sharpen it razor sharp. And they'll take that knife and they'll, they'll dip it in some animal blood and they'll let that freeze. And they'll dip it again and just make a nice little bloody popsicle. Maybe whole uh, quarter of an inch thick with ice and blood. And they'll take that knife and they'll go out and they'll stick it in the snow so the knife is pointing up with that blood and boy, that wolf begins to smell that blood. Mm -hmm. That wolf will come along and he'll see that and boy, he'll start licking. He'll think, oh man, it tastes so good. That wolf gets a taste of blood in his mouth and he, something in him kicks in and, and he wants that, he desires that. To him that is good, but he doesn't realize the real danger that lies underneath. And he licks that until pretty soon all of that Ice and blood is gone, and now he's licking that razor sharp knife. Mm -hmm. He's licking. I know. It's, it's, I, I even tell it. It, it, just, it gets me like this. But he actually tears his tongue to shreds, and that can bleed to death because mm -hmm. he desired that blood. That's just like sin. Boy, sake of sugar coated, make it look good. Doesn't look that bad. Boy, it's just a little ways off. It's just one time. It's just one thing. You know. Men, listen, hey, I don't care how old you get, the desires of the world are still there, and Satan still desires to destroy you, and Satan still desires to sit you like we, like Jesus said about Peter, and he wants, to, he wants to shake something out of your life, and he wants to find what it is that you're weak, and where you're weak, and he will use that and use that against you to try to destroy you. And you, boy, Satan makes it look so good, and pretty soon we're involved in it, boy, it's better and better, and pretty soon we don't realize the danger that lies underneath mm -hmm. and the destruction that will come because of that. Mm -hmm. Samson's downward spiral sent <coughs> him because he stepped across that line. He just went four miles down to Tenement, but he was in the camp of the enemy. He was in a place where he should not be. He desired things that he had no business being a part of. And because of that, his life from that point forward was a life of turmoil and struggle and heartache. He was in the wrong place with the wrong people and the wrong priorities. Mm -hmm. And that, too, can happen to us if we're not careful. Pastor, we can come. Amen. Amen.